This fight was quite simply incredible. This is the first fight that we've gone to a judge's scorecard. In fact, this is the first fight we've gone past round number one. All three judges scored it 30-27. Every single round they gave to George Staines. The most exciting part of the fight had to be the armbar. I could kind of see a bow in George's arm. As of right now, I'm not fucking tapping. Like, this fight's on. And that's why he's a warrior in there, because I feel like he was willing to let that arm break to win the fight. Hats off to you, eh, George? It's not a violent man's game, it's a thinking man's game. George Staines was building up his victory piece by piece, as if he was playing with Lego. I feel so comfortable, it's my office. Fighting such a hard thing, it's all a puzzle, like it's all problem solving. He did enough uh, damage to kind of keep control of the fight. And... and it was good to beat the wrestler, you know, out wrestle the wrestler. There were moments there where Matthew 100% could have quit, could have looked for a way out, and he didn't. Just kind of the longer the fight went on, uh, the more it kind of shifted in his favor. He started like crazy from the start. The boogeyman's coming for him, like, yeah, come on, Matthew, come on. Let's go, let's go. He probably exhausted himself. He wanted too much from the beginning. Matthew was trying to turn that fight into his fight. Definitely feel like the could have held that pace for three rounds. Me and Matthew proved then that grappling can be an exciting format. He was trying, even in the bad situation, to stay calm. I just couldn't keep up with the pace. He didn't do anything in the second and the third. I felt like a, a dying foam battery. They kind of like describe it as the best way possible. I'm obviously heartbroken. Matthew Elliott showed in this fight that he's probably the most dangerous fighter from all Irish fighters. I think Matt, he butchered him. You know, he might have lost the decision, but he succeeded in his plan of making sure that George won't fight in the semi-final. But George Staines was better. For me, Elliott gave it George his all in the first round and nearly had it. He could have stopped many, he would have stopped many other people, if you ask me. Still, both fighters show us what is beautiful about MMA. I think this fight was really something special. Both guys fucking put on a great display of heart and talent, because many a man would have quit in that, some of them positions. They leave everything in that cage. There's a saying in this sport, which is, you do not play fighting. It's serious. And the repercussions physically can be huge. He was in the hospital before the fight, and he's in the hospital after the fight, so. It's not uncommon to have a huge adrenaline dump. Your body goes from here to here in seconds. Got back into the changing room, like, I was like, yeah, buzzing, you know, buzzing with the boys. And then um, I was just like, oh, blood, I'm, I'm boiling. George struggled. He took the fluids, uh, he was still talking, but then he started to feel very sick. The force is strong with me that I will never leave. <laughs> In the hospital now, about to get my bloods taken, I think. Got a friggin' needle stuck in my arm. In the hospital, George received a brain scan. Oh, I'm off. I'm on the move again. They found a very, very minor bleed. When it comes to your brain, you never mess around. Even though George Staines won that fight, dominated that fight, became the favorite to win the whole show after that performance, it looks highly unlikely that George Staines will be able to progress to the semi-finals. Despite that being his biggest win, it looks like uh, it might also be his biggest loss as well. Octagon Challenge is a reality TV show where eight MMA fighters will go head to head. Two teams with four fighters from England and four from Ireland. One by one, they will take each other on as they look to advance to the semi finals. Each semi final showdown must feature England versus Ireland. By the semi finals, if one team has more winners than the other team, then the team coaches will select the two best fighters from their teams to go forward. 
the winners of the semi-finals will then face each other in the grand finale, which will be broadcast live in front of thousands of spectators at the AO Arena in Manchester on November 4th. The finalists will fight for a contract worth £25,000 and for the title of the first winner of Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. Just in the hospital room now, put the bed on my own, which is quite fortunate. Got me post victory pizza right here. You know, like after a fight, you used to like going out with the, the you know your lads and your team. And I was like me, Jake, and um, Bo were gonna go into Bratislava yesterday get pizza, get a bag or something like that. And I just spent it in a freaking hospital bed. You know what I mean? Let's have a little tour of the um, ex Soviet. <laughs> Mental asylum with George Staines in the dark. He's not got any lights on because he's a crackhead. Oh my God. That's better, isn't it? Slightly. He's sat here in the dark. <laughs> I couldn't even leave the fucking room, do you know what I mean? It was awful. Show us that nice, nice, nice left high kick you caught him in the head with. I'll always be all right. I'll always be all right. I'll never not be smiling. Making ready to cook breakfast. One like that, supposedly morning breakfast one. He's not even eating. He's just starving himself. So he might make the weight, but he's not going to be full of energy. As I am. It'd be easy way cut. Very easy way cut. Can we get that again in English, lad? Oh, no. It's too heavy for you, love. You shut your head as well as you. There has been no sport that the great country of Slovakia has achieved more gold medals in than the sport of kayaking. So we are here at Davoka Vada to see how our teams measure up against these rapids. Welcome to Davoka Vada. This will be the test for you next, your next challenge. Team England versus Team Ireland. Each team will go on one raft, and quite simply, it is a race from point A to point B, where I will be stood to see who crosses the line the first to win this challenge. Do you up for this? Yeah, yeah Let's buddy. Go. Let's go. Woo! When I seen what we were doing, I knew we were in with this one. I was like, right, we're doing this one. Some people couldn't swim, which was quite hilarious, to be honest. I could, so I was quite happy. <laughs> I mean, swim. Don't worry. I can't swim in real water, but you can't swim in the cage. In cage, we don't swim. We fight in the cage. You're going to be like a rock, bro. You're going to sink to the bottom of the ocean, mate. My first thinking was just like, right, just don't fall in the water. OK. Eagle. Tell us the fellas. Eagle. Yeah, oh, you it's the other thank one. You Tom, no, 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 you got to pick. Are you going first or second? Are you going first or second? You suck too long, I'm going first. You want to go first? We go first then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go first. England first, Ireland second, up Sam. we go. Let's go. I got to the venue for the challenge and I looked at the water, the rapids, these guys would be going down. And then I looked across at all the crew and I was like, you, you guys okay with this? This fast water, these big rocks? I was uh, we were scared when we got into it. I was like, oh Jesus, what's gonna happen here? Because the big rocks, I was gonna smash my head off on them, so. I was a bit worried about, like, the boat flipping over and us getting trapped under the boat because the instructor said something about that. <laughs> Get in here! I did the noise would be so fast. So I'm here with Roman. Roman will be the official timekeeper for this. He reckons a minute, minute five seconds is a good time. Let's go. <laughs> They are around the half, like now. 
halfway. I can just see them. I can just see them coming through. Here they come. Oh my goodness. 57 seconds, look. This is, look how high the boat's going. Wow, they've gone to the rocks. They've gone to the rocks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're all in the boat. They're all in the boat. Finish line, boys. Finish line. Push. And stop. <laughs> that was so funny. The end of the race, he fell out of the boat, and honestly, I thought this guy, look at his eyes, I've never seen a man more scared in my life. Hassan Galezi wants to take on everybody, including the biggest river in Slovakia, the River Danube. <laughs> <laughs> he was petrified, it was so funny. The level, the speed was too much. I didn't expect that, I'm not gonna lie. Go. We're off. We are off. This is Good Ireland's off. chance. Their one chance to win a challenge. It's water. Ireland is covered in water. Let's go. Come on, Ireland. Come on, Ireland. Let's go. I can see them. Uh -huh. I can see them. Oh, oh, they're work yeah, they're working much more in unison. Oh, I oh my that. god. They're like yes. 14 seconds ahead. Oh. That is crazy. Look at them. This is it. This is it, Team Island. Uh, smashing it. Here they come. We, we saw them hey guys, one minute by now. They just got to push this last bit. This last bit is the final bit of teamwork they need to do. This will give. Oh, they've got caught on the back. Okay, oh, push on one. They caught on the back. No, no. Team Ireland. Come on, push, push. Let's go, push. He's gonna be tired. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Well, unbelievable. Right from the start, we could see him, but then they almost messed it up, but they pulled through. Wow. That was the real chance. That was the real physical one. You had to get the, you had the brute force. You had to get the, you get the arms into it. Had to get the muscles working and all. But for those other ones, like. I couldn't care, so. I'm delighted it was probably the, the most fun and physical challenge we've had. Yeah! I know the time. Our timekeeper knows the time. They don't know. You don't know. Let's find out. Just a quick update, being here. Well, I had my CT scan like four hours ago now. Still heard nothing from anyone, just being brought this shady looking soup, uh, which I will not be touching. Gentlemen, firstly, congratulations on surviving. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Well, gentlemen, I know the times, OK? Go on, let's have it. So far, it is 3-0 in challenges to England. One team. Finished it in one minute, 49 seconds, and three milliseconds. Milliseconds? One team finished it in one minute, 
46 seconds and 46 milliseconds. There is three seconds in this. I can reveal that the winning team of this challenge... Team Ireland. Yeah! As I say, it's not how you uh, start, it's how you finish, and uh, Team Ireland got the last laugh in the end. Today was about nothing more than just bragging rights and just getting that win. Congratulations. Whoa. Thank God. Thank God they're going to have to do the cleaning in the house now. Get ready, Team England, because it's going to be a mess. So just being told now that I'm getting discharged, still I'm being told what's really wrong with me. <laughs> I have to get back to the boys, listen to what the challenge was, see if they won, hopefully. So, guys, we already know what the next fight of this season is going to be. So let's bring these guys together. Hassan, Dennis. I'm enjoying the fact that uh, I've gotten to terrorize this guy, getting his head a little bit. I want to make you pay for it. I am now, baby. We have what I will call the people's main event. From the very first meeting, they were already going at each other. Well, you won't be smiling Thursday, like. This one isn't about skill. This is 100% emotional. This is a genuine fight between two guys that just dislike each other. And that, that will be the fourth fight of this series. I'm not going to land this, so I'm going to destroy you. No, you won't. I'm telling you. No, you won't. You see? Let's see. OK. <laughs> Definitely the most intense stare down so far amongst all the stare downs on the show. It was constant talking back and forth to back and forth. And then even when the camera stopped, they went off to the side and they carried on. They were just chatting the whole time. Okay. Fuck uh, you up. You didn't have to wait. Oh, fuck you up. Okay, I'm telling Let's go then. Let's fuck you up. Fuck me up there then. Go. I don't think I've actually seen two people that have been poking each other. Probably more Dennis poking at Sam at the last few weeks. I've seen Dennis trying to get into Hassan's mind. And Hassan's just thinking about the fight. But Dennis is thinking about uh, how can I make myself look good? This is probably one of their stronger cards against one of their less strong cards if you must. Next fight. This is it. Fight number four. Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. Dennis versus Hassan. Let's go! Now, it's fight time. Who have we got? Who have we got? Hello. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Come here, mate. It was good to be back, like, just out with them, getting out on the four walls in that, um, that hospital room. They were driving me nuts. If I could have to do another couple of nights, I'd have been completely insane. Gentlemen, yeah. may I present to you a victorious Bye. fight. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Hey. George has come back, you know, he's so excited to be back. We're excited to have him. Obviously, you know, we're still going to keep an eye on him. We weren't allowed to leave. <laughs> Honestly, it was terrible. <laughs> How do you feel now? Fat, I feel great. Yeah? Honestly, I could go again. <laughs> come here, come here now. If they'd have told me to have another night in the hospital, I'd have, I'd have done it because my health is first. <laughs> Even the Irish team were being quite nice about it, but then as soon as he got out of the hospital, Dennis was being, again, a horrific human being. I don't even need to get in George's head. He's got blood in his head. He hasn't gotten in anybody's heads so far, maybe apart from Hassan's. I don't need to get in there and make it any worse. It's going to take more than one referee to pull Hassan off Dennis. No. You won't have to pay for it. Last time I was at a dentist, it's probably when I was like 12 years old, maybe 13. I take pretty good care of my teeth. I don't eat too many sweets, so never really had any problems with my teeth before. So I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I chipped one of my back teeth. Yeah, when I chipped it, I just felt like, I feel like my nerve, like anytime I drink anything or eat anything, it's like hitting my nerve and it's just like, the whole side of my head is pounding with pain. So obviously it's not the best uh, situation to be fighting with, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we get it sorted now, and uh, I'll be 100 percent to go then Thursday. Uh, smash Hassan's head in. Which type of pain? And it was like when it first started, it was like shooting pain. My whole like, side of my head was like hurting. Mm -hmm. It felt like a nerve. Like...
Turns out uh, my tooth broke in half because I had a massive cavity. Um, turns out I have another cavity as well that needs to be looked at. But we got a little temporary filling now. Um, hopefully it'll be it'll all hold up until after Thursday. Go to your dentist at least a couple of times a month, kids. <laughs> you know, I'm here to fight and you know, you'd have to take all my teeth out and I'll still fight, you know. Uh, as long as my gum shield still fits in my mouth, I'm gonna fight. And um, hopefully I'm gonna send Hassan to the dentist now on Thursday, let him have a few teeth knocked out. We bought pop caps. We're gonna put it in a pot and light them. <laughs> Theory is if we light them on fire, it will sound like gunshots. That's how you know he's from the north of Ireland. A prime time ball maker. Sorry about this, Bo. You just got caught in the crossfire. Yeah, man. It didn't go as planned. It ended up just sounding like popcorn. I'm lying in bed thinking, something's not right here, you know. So I go, to, I go to my door, unlock my door, and open the door. And then they running away, and there's like little, I can just see fire, and like the, the pots, I went, oh, fireworks, boom, close the door, and I jump out the window. Just a lovely weekend on Mario Kart tonight, yeah, you know. Him and Hassan ended up bailing through the window because they didn't know what was going on. Oh, you know, look, boy, you have to come outside. Even time it was a long night. <laughs> it was a long night. Stop panicking if it was something bad. You know what I mean? It's you rush from the window, man. It's not so bad. Fuck, now get out the window. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's going through the window. It's going through the window. As they came in through the front, Hassan got nailed with water balloons. You don't put fucking four Irish lads in the house, because then we're going to go crazy, and we're going to try and kill everybody. I definitely enjoyed slapping the water balloon off his head. Prank number 27. Let's go. When George and Jake came outside, they didn't want anything to do with it. They closed their room. Fire, fire, lads. Fire, lads. Fire. I think they've all completely lost their heads, to be honest. I said to Jake, I wish I'd have bloody been in the hospital instead of this, because I could have got some good sleep. Bo, his own roommate, his teammate, left the room, came outside with us. You know, we, he knew what we were going to do to him. He didn't warn him. <laughs> We've probably spent about an hour and a half, two hours, just water ballooning him, knocking on his door, getting him out of the room, water ballooning him again. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. We got quite angry. We put a spider in his hood. I don't actually think he knows about the spider. The son's losing his head now. He's going a bit crazy. Oh my God, this is a fucking mistake I did. That boy was about to break. He was on 97%. I thought the cameraman was going to get hit. Hello. We all had Hassan going like a bit mental, so it was like, it might be best to leave him alone at this point. So like, he might attack one of us. Like, he's, going, he's, he's hulking out a little bit. Like, you know, don't know who his teammates are in that. Thank goodness I don't live in that house. <laughs> This is the final training session before the fight for Dennis Frimpong, and you can feel the energy. Just listen. No fun, no games, no banter, no chat, just focus on the job at hand, and he has one hell of a task to take on Hassan Galezi. We knew Dennis would have been the next free, so that was a bit of an advantage we were able to use, so we were to start the preparation. No matter what's happening there, he's, he's got a fuse. Yeah. Yeah. And we just bore him from them, you know what I mean? Just tire him out, let him hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we already had um, a guy ready to fight as well. So, in them grappling positions, when he's using loads of energy, if he's not fucking cracking you with shots, he's not, he's not scoring. I know Dennis's work rate, I know his skill set, I know his level. He's gonna finish Hassan. Experience-wise, there is a difference looking at this fight. Uh, Dennis Frimpong has had one professional fight already. He's prepared, he's made that walk as a pro. Hassan Galezi has had six pro fights. Five wins, one loss, and most of those victories have come by way of knockout. That is what he's carrying into this cage. Not just the experience, but Dennis has also got to be super aware of the power of Hassan Galezi. 
Get the shoulder in. I don't want to see your shoulder. Very good. Excellent. He just needs to stay calm, composed and focused. Let Assam burn himself out. And then by that second round, I think it could be a good night for Assam. So see on the hook. So when you have that, and if he does come down long, he come really down long, you'll be able to grab it over there. Grab another little hook. Tennis has to be torn down from the start here, so we need to be to, to be able to weather that little bit of a storm and, and let Dennis use the skills. I feel like Dennis has nothing to lose. Where I feel if Hassan loses, it then kind of makes it out to be that uh, that he's fought Dennis not through wanting to, but because he has had no other option but to fight him. This could be a landmark battle in this series. Great sword tooth, oh, no carbs. Yeah. <laughs> Where I come from, like, if you're not able to give it back verbally, you're just gonna get bullied. Growing up in a, a small Catholic town in the middle of Ireland, you know, obviously being mixed race as well, it was like the few black people that, that were in the town, uh, you know, they see me as white. So I'm not really on either spectrum. I'm, I'm just in the middle somewhere. I've got a West African dad and I've got a, a, a former Yugoslav mum. People, you know, in Ireland didn't really understand that, uh, you know, black people and white people can have kids together, like, you know. My dad raised me to be a tough, a tough individual because he knew the struggles that I would go through uh, as a black kid, especially growing up in Europe. And I just had this mentality that, look, if someone says something, I just have to bang them out, you know what I mean? Like, and very quickly people learn not to say things. And a lot of those kids that bullied me and tried to bully me back then, you know, they, where are they now, you know? They're, a lot of them are dead in jail, you know, smackheads. So I've always wanted to, to do martial arts from, from like a young age. So my parents actually didn't ever want me to be doing martial arts. My secondary school years, I, I did a, um, track and field. Got a uh, scholarship to university through it. And then in university, stopped doing track and field and like dropped out of university. So I was like 21, 22 when I found jiu-jitsu. And the moment my feet touched that mat and I started rolling with people, you know, just fell in love with it straight away. Did a lot of things I probably shouldn't have done. I probably wouldn't have found martial arts if it wasn't for those experiences, uh, because it was through those experiences that I met people who were martial artists, but like part-timers, you know? Oh, I've done a bit of K1. Oh, I've done a bit of Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, where do you do that? You know, and you get into these conversations. My dad saw the vision, to be fair. He was just happy to see me not out doing drugs and drinking all the time. My mom obviously, as you say, thought might have been a bit of a phase, just something to keep me away from the partying. I think they're just happy that I didn't go down the path that I could have been going down when I was in my early 20s. The, the plan is for them to be at the finals, see me win a big contract, you know, see the tears in their eyes, you know, tears of happiness. That contract will still will change my life. And the honor of being the Octagon Challenge winner, I'm looking at that million euro tournament at the end of the day, I'm looking at that belt. This is a beautiful sport. Do you know why? Those two have fought. Those two guys, they're helping each other prepare, you know? Hassan's got his fight coming up. And then you've got Akon, which will be fighting fairly soon. They fought before. They fought in a cage before. And now they're training partners. Now they are friends. And that, that's the beauty of this sport, mixed martial arts. I feel like Hassan's one of the strongest person in this whole tournament. Whatever is dangerous, yeah? I want this elbow to drive out to the hip. So this goes to the hip, and I lock my both hands, keep, try, try to keep it locked, and lock my both hands together. It's tight, it's strong, he's, he's got everything pushing me down, he's holding me down, it's hard. All I do is use the uh, frame that I've got here, hands together, I'm strong on the hip, and I drive away. There's a really strong, powerful, powerful grip. Put directly down to the nuts, they've got a groin, groin guard on. Put the side of the leg, if you're being nice. Well, the same being nice. It's it's the, the, the frame, frame, frame yeah. yeah. He can implement that into his game and really turn this into a proper fight instead of a technical match, then Hassan can squeeze out the victory in my eyes. Hassan needs to get in, in, in uh, Dennis's face and put some pressure on and, and keep that sort of pressure, you know? Like, he doesn't want to be put on the back foot and let Dennis use his range and his clever kind of striking. We want to kind of smother him and make it, make it a bit of a dog fight, you know? Like, don't need to be pretty, don't need to do any fancy stuff. Get in his face and fight, you know? So look, Hassan Galezi is not just fighting for himself in this contest. He 
and the team are upset about some of the stuff Dennis has said about George, about his family. And Hassan Galezi feels it's his responsibility. I'll be the one who's going to make him pay for it. When you talk about um, human nature, when you talk about what builds you, what defines your character, your perspective, there is no greater understanding of the fragility of human life than witnessing it being taken away. Just being in the world, so there's so many things I can see. Hassan Galezi has lived that life. Hassan Galezi has seen things that you can't imagine. Baby got caught. So yeah, there's so many shit. Women get raped, men go killed for their parents. There's so many things. What is, you know, a stress for us after he has seen what he has seen, you know, that is nothing. That is just dust on the shoulder that he can brush off. When people talk about wars, I fuck these people they don't know what they're talking about. I think he might be the most dangerous man here. I'm a son of a politician. I can't have a good life. After a certain extent, when things change, I start when I was very young, maybe six, seven, eight. I lost a couple of friends as well, you know what I mean? A couple of people in my family, a couple of friends, you know what I mean? So, yeah, sometimes it's hard. Things I learned in war, like, no one is win. Maybe politicians win, but the people, they don't win, you know what I mean? My dad passed away, was a big man. For me, it's fine. I was prepared. I know he's going to die. I spent time with me. I've never been sad because he spoke to me. You know, I'm going to die. And then he started laughing. I can see that on my kids sometimes. Like, oh, this is, yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> you know? So I need to show him emotion. I need to show him that I love him. When I love you, you have to reply back. You need to know the meaning why you love you. understand? You need to know that. Because, yeah, my dad used to love me. But right now, I just want my kids to be happy. Trying to be a good person, which is not easy. It's very easy to be a bad person. So I try my best every day. I was a naughty boy. Like, oh, proper, proper, I love of naughty boy. And then when I saw people talk about being a game member, trying to be proud of it, there's nothing I'm going to be proud of, you know what I mean? That's why I don't even want to talk about this. Oh, so many shit happened. You need to get out as soon as you can. I just wake up one day and say, if I can say the word, sorry for my language, fuck it, I'm done. I've been dealing with people that want to kill you. Sorry, they say to you, you're going to die. This is a fight. It's not a war, it's a fight. He's gonna try to fight me. He's not gonna try to kill me. That's the difference. This is the menace, and this is the jelly bean jealousy. Grating me, to be honest. We were watching some comedy, but then you came anyway, so you were back. Well, Vegeta and that. See you tomorrow on the scales, lad. Bye. I'm just not a fan of those antics. He doesn't sit very well with me. Short time, baby. It's time to beat up the boys. Hassan's been running every day since he's been here, so it's a good little way to just easily mindless kind of run. There have to be a crazy pace. Just we just went 30 minutes. He's come in here and now he's sweating. I got a feeling he's probably gonna be on weight. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll be good to go tomorrow morning. I think when I came here, I was about 82. In two weeks, I lost about eight kg. So you, you see, uh, you, you can just see I was, I was quite big. So that's... 
71.6, so that makes you 0.6 over. At the very start, the man was eating Snickers and balls of Coke, or drinking balls of Coke, so he's uh, cleaned up his act. I can't even check, because Boo will literally check me everything. Let's go. Oh, even better. Nice one. Nice one. Easy. Professional. Yeah, professional. Always. I went to the guys' houses, started the bat, tennis got in, the waist started coming off. Yeah, we had no issues other than the scales decided to, I don't know, needed an exorcism or something. This is all over shop. What the fuck happened here? Who's fucked? The scans are fucked and you're fucked as well. The scans are fucked and you're fucked. One of the other. It was like 11 kilo, uh, then it was like three kilo over, then 0.5 over, so uh, we had to get a new scales. So. Dan also hurt himself last night, and whenever he hurt himself this morning, it was like 0.4 to have it. Yeah, we've been doing this from Sintra. Three set of scales have broken. This one to do this, yeah. You can see um, starting to get a wee bit aggravated and all, because he's hungry, so the way it cut angles coming out. Never been. I've had 11 fights in my career, and it's never been this complicated. Pass on again, regardless. It doesn't matter. Welcome back, gentlemen. So far, six of you have stepped on the scale, made the walk, leaving just two fighters now in what is the most anticipated fight so far on this series. Team Ireland, you won the challenge last time, so you'll be in the red corner this time, meaning we will invite to the scale first, Hassan Galezi. <laughs> Thought they called you fat, right? <laughs> this is fat. 70.6 for Hassan Galezi. I'm in Hassan's corner. I'm back in Hassan all the way. I believe Hassan can get it done. You know, Hassan looks focused now, and he's been focused for a long time. So, one fighter has made weight 70.6. Let's invite his opponent, Dennis Frimpong. <laughs> First time Team Ireland in that red corner. 70.8 is the magic number. 70.65, there we go, Dennis Frimpong. Dennis has a very good nutritionist. He's very intelligent also when it comes to cutting weight. Like, sometimes for my weight cuts, I even ask Dennis myself some questions. Fight number four is official. Let's bring these two together one last time. Dennis Frimpong, Hassan Galezi. Come together, guys. So each stare down, I have been there front and center bringing the fighters together. This one was different. It went on for maybe too long, but it showed us, it showed us that there's not gonna be an inch of back down between these two. But when there is a grudge match, when there is, you know, beef, you know, verging on hate, the emotions that come and carry into that cage, that is, you know, the biggest draw of all. All the time he was throwing water on me, pulling me when I sleep. I was keeping everything on me. I said, oh, I'll deal with you soon or later. See all the trash talking now? You don't say it anymore. You understand now he's dealing with the land, big boss. Well, tomorrow he's going to have to find out why he's been scared to fight me in the first place, and he's going to find out why I'm called the menace. He's going to be the one that's sacrificed to the MMA gods tomorrow. Hey, there's a big camera crew around me. Say hello to the camera crew and all. Hello, lads. <laughs> Me, yeah, man, I've been enjoying it, mate. I've been enjoying it, you know. What's the story with you anyway, lad? You, you finished up your work for the day, or what? I'm always trying to be doing what you're doing. Mate, <laughs> mate I, have to go, I have to go get punched in the face tomorrow, mate. You might you might regret that one, like. But um, I, I fried that guy's head already from the beginning. He's, he's proper gone, mate. His, his head is melted. Me and him have been going back and forth the whole time, mate, so 
It's like it was everyone kind of expected that like we're gonna fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, nice. Fucking, yeah, well, I'm sure you'll fucking kick his ass tomorrow. Hey, check this as well, lad. What the fuck? It's like a tempo a temporary filling, lad. <laughs> My tooth cracked in half, bro. I've just been chewing a bit of meat, bro, and it's like cracked in half, bro. And then I got like the whole side of my head was killing me, mate. So straight away I was like, oh, I need to get this sorted. I won't be able to fight with that shit, like, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, that's it, mate. I'll uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow anyway as well, yeah. Yeah, sweet man. Yeah, I, well, and if I don't speak to you before one, yeah, fucking smash them all for me, lad. Yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent, lad. Chat to you soon. Go on, lad. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so that's that's my best mate since we were about 12, 13 years old. Uh, we grew up like on the same road. He's got a little daughter and all that now, so obviously we don't see each other a lot mo as much. But uh, both of us moved to England like around the same time, and that he was like a bit before me. We try and like stay in touch as much as possible, but he's like a brother to me. Seventy point six five. I'm still wearing the same underwear and all. Seventy eight point one. Nine hours later, nine hours to get eight kilos back. Let's fucking go, Hassan. That's where Hassan's sleeping tonight, man. Moody, man. Yeah. 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 Hassan! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> oh! That's not going to Hello, baby. Happy <laughs> my birthday. Who told you it's my birthday? Thank you so much. <laughs> Who told you it's my birthday? It's not my anniversary. It's not my birthday. Ça va? How are you? You good? I love you. I love you. I love you. Je t'aime. Nalingio. <laughs> Good boy. Did you miss me? Yes. Oh, well, I miss you too, baby. I'm coming back soon. I'll see you. Yeah? We're gonna go swimming, park. And then we're gonna go play everywhere, okay, baby? Okay. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Beijo. Je t'aime. I wanna see your face. Hey, move, man. I wanna see my son. Will you put your face on my... <laughs> I'm gonna fight tomorrow. So I'm going now. Bye-bye. I love you. Nalingio. I love you. Je t'aime. Nalingio. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> That's it, I'm feeling good now. Now I'm ready to go for tomorrow. So I can't wait to go back, play with him, do different things, you know. It's been like, wow. Nearly three weeks now, I didn't see him, so yeah. It was good. Now it's time to enjoy my time with my son. First of all, I have to finish something. Sangalazi versus Dennis Fringpong. This is the people's main event. This is the probably most epic fight of the first part of the show. And finally the fight what you want to see from day one. Dennis is the menace. Dennis is a guy with length and range and also good jujitsu. In this fight, Dennis has got to back up everything that he has said. On another side is Hassan Galezi, the most dangerous striker in this show. He grew up in the war zone. I believe that Hassan is the guy who's ready for this kind of situation better than Dennis. What will happen? Maybe they don't know how much is on stake in this fight for English and Irish team. It's two to one for England. You never know, and in these studio fights, everything can happen. We were waiting for this moment, the moment where these two warriors, these two guys, Dennis Frimpong, Hassan Galezi, would stand face to face for the first time. One, two, three, morning breakfast! 
so we are ready for fight number four of the series. Only two guys have yet to make the walk to this cage. Let's welcome the first of them now. From Team England, Hassan, morning breakfast, Neri Galezi. One of the fittest human beings I've ever seen. The keys to victory for Hassan is to use his strength. It's gonna be a very intense fight. You need to see fear from day one. It's time to show your mafia. That's what we'll do to him. And now welcome his opponent from Team Ireland, Dennis the Menace Frimpong. Hassan's gonna come out crazy. He's gonna blow his load. I don't see him landing anything. He will just get cooked. I'm more excited for this one than any of the previous other fights. Hassan Galezi, you're dead. Patience from the start. Fight. Fight. Control, Control that center. center. Fakes. Fakes. Twitch. Control that center. Yeah, Fakes. No. Control no that let's, center. let's stay focused. Switchy. Yeah. Switchy. Yeah. Switchy. Moving off the loin, Dennis. Off the loin. Moving. Yeah. Chin Control down. Chin that center. Down. Control that center. Hands up. Chin down. On the hook. On Control the hook. Control that center. Head on position for me. Hands up. Nice shot. Nice shot. Big leg kick there. Touch that leg. Touch that leg. Back to that car. Patience. Fakes and jabs. One, one, two. Close distance. Close distance. Yeah, use your jab. Start using your nice. jab. Close the distance. Put it on, Ben. On the hooks, on the hooks, on the hooks. Oh, on the hooks, on the hooks, on the hooks. Watch the separation. Let's dig in on the hooks right now. Right arm right. torn off the fence, Dennis. Right, where? Right we, hand can, hand we can take some of his energy, hand Dennis, if we on the hook off the fence. You break off if you want to. Here's your boy, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, watch that shot. Careful now. Triangles from there, full guard, full guard, the pass the triangle. Don't let him control your posture. Keep him square, hip square. There you go. Control the posture, Dennis. Control the posture. Keep punching, this you can is punch what we were expecting. Punch, you punch from here. Punch from here. Here we go, Dennis. Here we go, Dennis. Here we go, Dennis. We guard, Dennis. We guard, Dennis. He does not pass your guard, Dennis. Be careful of the shots. Drive your head under the chin. Drive your head under the chin. Dennis, we are at one minute. Yeah, good friend. Yeah, body, 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 Good. 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 Take your control his posture. Yes, let's that climb up with that triangle. Yes, inside wrist control. That's beautiful, mate. Yes, here we go. Get it, go, go now, Dennis, on the triangle. Let's go, Hassan. Nice, keep control. Watch the frame. Patience. Patience. Get them legs. Get them legs, Hassan. Nice. Nice, good, good, good. Watch the shots. Double jab, backhand. Double jab, backhand. Hands up, Dennis! Hands up! He's dipping the head! Let's pull, Dennis! Let's pull! Let him fire and then pull! Breathe. Kick Breathe. the leg! No, Dennis, Breathe. let's Breathe. get Breathe. smart Breathe. here, man! Leg! Leg, Dennis! The leg! Here when he comes in. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Double jab, yeah. back leg! Lovely! On the hook! Lovely, on Dennis. the hook! On the hook, Dennis! On the hook. Again. on the hook again! On the hook and Good head position! Right, the body lock again. No. Yeah! Sure, oh, Hassan. 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 Stay, stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. Good Good hand. Hand. The leg is well, Dennis! Stay on the leg! Yeah! Dennis, relax! This is what we expected! This is the energy we expected! Keep the body! Show the face. There you go. It's that low board. The leg, Dennis. Big leg kick, Dennis. Big leg kick. Watch big leg kick. Focus, Dennis. Control. Head pressure, head pressure, 
I control the wrist, which are right handed. Throw your head out. And knee. Yeah. And knee, mate. Let's head knee. Pressure. I want the head position. Yeah. Turn, turn him, turn him down. Turn him down. Turn him down. Watch the shot. shot. Let him shoot, Dennis. Take deep breaths. Control your breathing. Keep the body. Lovely, Dennis. Now, Dennis. Dennis, listen to me for two seconds. That right, no. That's you. Dennis, Dennis. That's you. There's a lost in the Dennis, let him fire oh, and keep up to the breathe. body. Let's keep up to the body. Keep that leg, Dennis. Yes! Let's move forward. Let's move yes! forward. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! The leg, Dennis. Let's move forward. 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 Let's be first with them strikes. Come on, let's go. 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 let us he doesn't like that body. He slowed down massively in there. He doesn't check the low kicks and he doesn't like the clinch knees to the body. In the clinch, you're 10 times better than him. Don't let that get in your head, right? Don't let that get in your head. Breathe for me. Breathe, okay? Breathe. You won that round. You done a good round. But what he done well is that because you went back. You know, don't go back so much. Keep your eyes on him as well, and like, don't get fall into those fucking antics. Bro. You need to hit him on the reset, not okay. the reaction. Okay. So as you're trying to hit let him, miss, he's trying to go. You gotta let him. And then you'll pick one shot you want. See the leg. You Every time you push him backwards, kick the leg. Just pick your shots. You're in fucking great shape, Hassan. Very good shape. He's just looping these shots. Oh, See his head fit every time he throws them? Yeah. Let's, give him, him. let's give him 10 seconds. You run, you run that round. Yeah. You fucking hold. I just want to send him again. Send him again. When you get the ball locked, take it down. You're touching your head. Good head position when you're on the floor. Okay. Let's go, brother. Let's fucking go, brother. Second round. All right. Let's, get Let's all go, Sasan. Let's go, be first. Control that center for me. Let him go. Be first, Sasan. Be first and be yes, last. Yeah, you're nice. Best and fair. Best and fair. Best and fair. He's going to go, Dennis. He's going to go. Change the look. Change the look. Change the look. Let's make it a fight, Hassan. Yes, keep chopping it. Let's make it a fight, Hassan. Go, go, go. Push him. Yeah. Back. Keep going forward. He's reacting to everything, Dennis. In the clinch, them knees are Let's beautiful go. as well. Cup. Keep that head up. Hey! 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 On the hook, Swiss. On the hook. Let's go and on the hook. There you go. Their knees are beautiful. Connect your hands. Their knees are beautiful. Let's go. Don't accept this position, Hassan. Don't accept. Don't accept from me, Hassan. Control your breathing then. When you're ready, get out of Hassan. You know what you're doing? Hey, let's go. Don't accept that, Hassan. Let's keep tipping away. Let's just keep tipping away. You've got four legs. You've got knees. Need them legs, bro. Need them legs. Let's go, Hassan. Keep kneeing and foot stomping. Show the shot, show the shot. Yes! Show the shot. Yes! On the hook, Dennis. On the hook, Roy Sawyer. Lovely, Dennis. Turn away, really good. Now watch the separation. Watch the separation. If you want to connect your hands. By the hip. Connect your hands and pull off that fence. Let's pull off that fence, Dennis. Lovely, Dennis. Lovely, Dennis. Swag the body now. Knee the body. Don't stay on the fence, Dennis. Pull on the hook. Connect your hands. Head on. Head on. He doesn't like the knees to the bodies. Let's go back to the body. Forward, Hassan. So poor left kick. Hassan, so poor left kick. Body, body, body. Yes. Let's go, Hassan. 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 Let's go, Hassan.
This victory was massive for Team Ireland. Team England is still winning this whole war. It's crazy the score ends 2 2. It's almost like a perfect storyline. I think we're ahead because we have two finishes. Sometimes with fights like this, you get the build up, you get the talk, and then the fight just doesn't deliver. Today it delivered. The referee calls a stop to this fight. Three minutes, seven seconds into round number two. Your winner by way of knockout, Team Island's Dennis Flipper! <laughs> I did a mistake and I pay for it. Simple as that. I'm gonna leave him be now, you know. I've, I've given him enough shit as it is. I'm not gonna disrespect the dead like that. On this game, he was the best man, and as I say, so I have to give him credit. My respect is never given. I respect people when they earn my respect, but he earned my respect today. Now we got 2 2 on the each side. Let's see how it will go in semi finals. The job's not done, but that 25K contract is the first step to me achieving my dreams. Armand wanted to come train at my gym, because Shem trains at my gym. You, did you train the whole week? Did I was you there in the gym. You were in week. the gym, yeah. Jake wouldn't let me go over. I heard you didn't train. From who? With, with your back injury, bro. From who? I thought I snapped it in half with a kick, bro. Oh, fuck. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so you're, back, so you're actually a little bit of a cunt, aren't you? I'm a cunt. How am yeah. I the cunt? Going to train at your opponent's gym when you've just beaten them, it's like, ah, that's a bit sketchy, that lad. Man, you've been, you stop? Ball, you've been dreaming shit, about me. Oh, shit, sorry, slept myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is what it is, bro. I don't really like the sort of talk smack, talk crap after a fight. Do you want to fucking go outside? <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, fucking town. Right, calm, 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 bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 